I found a teak dining table with eight chairs and the china cabinet for $550. I am so excited because I had been looking for a table that was around these proportions to try as a desk in our office. So I don't know how it's going to look. I am so excited. I just picked up the table and the chairs. I am so nervous because the hutch that came with it, I have to go move things around so that the movers have somewhere to put it. And now I have an extra cabinet that I have to resell. <laughs> That'll be for another time. The cost of everything, eight chairs, the table, and this cabinet was 550. So that was a steal, but the delivery really got me on this one. The lug movers were so great. I ended up paying about $330 for a delivery total. I'm still hopeful if things don't work out, I could resell it and get my money back. This is what we will be trying as a desk. I'm going to go grab some dinner and then we will probably have a late night of moving furniture around in the office, so. This room is a rectangular shape with more length this way. We've tried having the desks in just about every configuration that's possible. My husband and I, since we share this space, this is my favorite layout from a function perspective. So if we're both ever in a meeting, we don't have to worry about either one of us walking behind. I want this really cozy, warm, mid-century modern, traditional look. The white is kind of stark in here. Originally, I was torn between going with a very light green. I think these would have worked. Since I want to go in a direction that's more warm, I have been looking at secondhand markets for a really long time to try and find a table that is pretty close to these dimensions. You saw earlier what I found. Let's go ahead and get this all out of here. All right, let's also figure out how I'm gonna take this because right now I don't have an extra pair of hands, so. Look ahead, the sea is calm and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. Nothing can stop a woman who wants to move furniture. Okay, so this is a little wobbly. I am not liking how this looks. It looks very orange in here. And I'm also not sure about the overall scale and size. The shape is also giving corporate office vibes to me, like we are at a little miniature conference table. So I'm really bummed because it's been a lot of work to get to here. We're going to continue trusting the process and following through. We're gonna finish putting together this room with this table. And then I'm gonna just kind of take it all in. I think we'll have some more clarity after we continue trying to put the space back together. We will continue in the morning because I am I'm very sleepy. It's 12 a.m. I'm gonna go get some rest and go think about some ideas in bed and then continue in the morning with some coffee. I will see you in the morning. Good morning. I am torn with this table. It feels like this table has a lot of yellow orange undertones. In person it looks, it looks like that honey teak color. My first choice probably would have been a walnut color that would have not had those undertones and that would have been a lot more neutral, but I'm still open to this. My goal is to really create two different little rooms. I want that to be my little corner that is my little creative space and I want this to be a little creative space for him. This is the first piece we ever got in an estate sale. I am thinking in this corner, having a little seating area. This window isn't centered with the room. There's less space on this side of the room than there is on that side. I'm aligning this little grouping with 
the windows and not with the room. I am a big fan of mixing woods. I just like to keep in mind the tones and the grain. I don't mind that. I found this lamp at the thrift store for $10. It is restoration hardware, both the shade and the lamp. Didn't think it would work because it was missing the, the light switch. You could twist those off. So I borrowed one from a different lamp at the store. I tested it. And then when I got home, I just ordered one on Amazon. Now at this point, I have a little pack and I carry that with me. If I'm at a thrift store, I could have one on me. And I know my friend has even done cord repair and that they sell those kits. I'm going to play with contrast here and I'm going to bring more things in that natural linen color to brighten things up. This is about as much light as we're gonna get. We get the most sun in the morning and earlier in the day. So this is the brightest it gets. Before that, I stopped buying curtain rods secondhand because it's so hard to find the right quantities and the right size. I got this rod secondhand. It's a Pottery Barn rod and I wanna say it's over an inch thick. I was never able to find a matching pair to me it wasn't worth it to buy a new one. So I still haven't taken this one off. This one over here is just under an inch and it's I got it from Target. I've hung up one of the Target ones. I have to take this one down and hang the right one up. The person who sold me this rod, on my way out, she offered me all of these curtain panels. She gave me six panels for free and they look like they were unused. Two of the four panels are a lot wider than the other two. I have to go through all of these to remove the seam that she hemmed. And then I will at some point have to hem them the right length based off of where I have the rods. So we're gonna remove the seam on this. How nice is it that she just gave me these? I have one more to go. I'm not going to change this rod out yet. I'm gonna use where it is right now as an opportunity to see if I like it where it is right now or if I wanna make some adjustments. I have eight inches from the outside trim of the window to where the drapes end. If I'm able to find the same exact drape, do I just double these up? Or do you think I should add a different outer one for all four sets? I was just trying to use what I have, but let me know what you think. This is how that little corner is looking. Let me bring you closer. I have a couple of art pieces. I got this frame for $5 from someone. It's just, I think, an Ikea frame. I got it secondhand and then I bought a print. I really liked the color palette from this and it's from an artist on Etsy. I found this at the thrift store for a few dollars. I really like this photograph. I really like getting art from local artists or from people who I directly have a connection with. And this is my last and favorite piece. This was given to me by a friend and if you've been here before, you know I have my dog Suki who I love so much. This makes me so happy when I see it. I'm really hoping I can tie it together here. This linen color I thought was so beautiful. The rule of thumb for art is that the center of the piece should be 50 to 60 inches off the ground. For me, right now I have it a few inches over that. We'll keep looking for some pieces that might work better based off of where we land next week. We'll update the pieces that I have here or I'll make adjustments to the heights and leave them like this for now. I bought a little secretary's desk. I initially bought it to try over here. I got this on Craigslist for $45 plus $7 delivery. Probably could have gotten something in better shape for this price. A secondhand impulse buy. While mid-century furniture is the predominant style, I do like to mix in other styles as well. I have two different places I was thinking about using this one in. One option is here and one is on my husband's side. So if we like this, this will be a fun DIY. I thought that this would be such a cute little area where I can, you know, write a thank you card without having to clear the things off of my, my working desk. But let me know what you think. Should I keep this one here? The other option is I put this on Daniel's side, a little round table that's between 20 and 24 inches deep. It would allow me to be here and then I could just switch over. So what do you think of that idea? That's something that I would have to thrift. The other option I mentioned was for him to have this one behind his desk. What about something like this? I was really excited about this find because it's very minimal, kind of geometric, but has some 
uh, added texture and dimension with the linen background. The person gave it away for free because they got a replacement just because of this little piece right here lifting up. I was the lucky winner who managed to be first in line to pick this guy up. It's kind of hard to get a good sense with these in the way. One of these is gonna go in the closet and I got these both secondhand. I got this at Ikea. This is one of the things that we have in the room that was purchased new. I have a different fixture that I found at the thrift store that I am excited to see in this space. It's leaning more into the darker browns that I have with the walnut tables. I was originally thinking of going more in a mid-century Scandi direction and over time my taste has evolved. This is the other lamp that I have. Which one do we like more? I got this at the ReStore. I think I'm liking this. I'm not sure about the chain. It was so sweet. Whoever donated this to the ReStore said it brought them a lot of happy memories and good times and that it hoped it found a new good homes. We'll play with all of the alignment once we have some more decor ideas. Suki and I just picked up a little table that I found on Facebook Marketplace. I negotiated down from $40 to $30. It was an oval, so I'm curious to see if this will work better or if I should keep looking for a round table. I saw some other options, but I thought that this was probably the best one for the price, at least as a starting point to see if this is the direction I want to go in. I didn't end up making it to the thrift store since I ended up finding this table, so let's go back and see how this looks. I think rounder is probably going to be more practical and useful after seeing it in the space. Let's keep putting things back in. I also have to put my husband's monitor and his chair here and then we could take a step back and look at everything and see where we end up this week. Next week I'll think more about if we do a paint refresh in a different color, paint this little secretary desk, if we decide that this is what we want to keep, look for some more decor for the walls. I, I've decided that I want to remove this console. Once this console's gone and I have more room, I'm also thinking about extending the table so that way my husband and I have more surface area and then see what pieces, if any, I will swap or if I'll live with this for a little bit before making more changes. I also asked the person who gave me these drapes if they could tell me where they got them from. I don't know where they got them from because I would like to double up the drapes behind me. It's been really fun to mix these different styles, more of a mid-century style related to the coffee table that I have, which also a mid-century piece. And then I thought it was fun to incorporate some of these more traditional furniture pieces too, that I thought was a nice contrast to the very streamlined mid-century modern look. I removed all the cable strips. I'm definitely gonna have to do some paint work and patchwork to touch that up. I had this piece in the living room. What do we think about it here? I brought in this plant that I had in a different room to see how it looked here. I'm also thinking about making this a darker color and give it a masculine look. I'm going to style this up a little bit. I have these crystal bookends. If you've seen my past videos, you saw I found at an estate sale. Make sure to come back next week for part two. We'll think more together about wall paint colors. We'll go thrifting for some wall art and check in on how we're feeling about the space and any changes we want to make. I've linked to the products mentioned in this video down below. Some of those might be affiliate links, which help support this channel. You can see our full disclaimers on the about page.